So this is very important in reference to the treasury and in reference to cities and states in reference to which cities and states are aware of the situation. Because, you know, there's a long history of even back in the 70s and even before when I was a little boy, you know, and my parents, was a lot, well, my mother was around and, you know, before my father died and, you know, basically after that and even after my father died, you know, this situation has been very important, you know, in reference to the crimes of prosecuting these people. But, you know, in reference to law enforcement in America and them knowing that these criminals in Indiana have been terrorizing my life wherever they came from, whoever they are. And they've tried to murder me on jobs. And they know it's an endangerment for me to be working in certain places. You know, I'm supposed to be in movies and television and media. And kind of a protected lifestyle, you know. Reverence to super rich lifestyle. Reverence to my biological parents and the companies and land and mansions that my parents owned and my grandparents, which I'm the owner of all those. But these government people are blocking me from my mother and father's mansions and they're blocking me from the accounts and they're blocking me from my trust funds. Now the question is, why are they doing that? Because they stole sperm and they artificially inseminated some female? The real protocol tells you everything is a prenup information document. All children are illegitimate, always. Do you understand what that means? So I have no financial obligation or any housing obligations to any of those children or any of those people that artificially inseminated females of their race. Do you understand that? So in reference to the information of these people, how many law enforcement agencies have sent me money? I haven't received any from anywhere. But you know, there's a big police station in Indianapolis. Was they holding on to monies from my mother, Doris Duke? Or has anybody sent any monies or had court cases at the police station, at the courthouse, and yet that's only like three miles away or something? How many other cities and states have been aware of the crimes of these people, but yet the Indianapolis Police Department has not sent me a penny? Was they holding on to monies from my mother? There are protocols in the media of my identity. This is a question, because any of the police stations or any of the governors or mayors that tried to send me money, these people in Indiana have stolen the monies. What are they trying to do? Why aren't people arresting them for stealing monies? Basically, the Indianapolis Police Department has not delivered any monies to my mailbox, if anybody was wondering. Neither has the courthouse. So within three miles, if anybody, you know, my human rights have been violated, and there's police brutality charges against the Indiana government and some other places. But, you know, in reference to the activity, how many police stations have tried to send me money and it, these people stole that, too. Now, that's treason. So, you know, in reference to other cities and states, if anybody was wondering if the Indianapolis courts had tried to send me money, I haven't received nothing from nowhere. So, in reference to courthouses or court judges or cities or states or businesses or companies from anywhere else, I have not received anything. In this case, anybody was wondering. And it's 615, well, 616, 2022 right now is the date.